Is there more? Yes. Do you ever ask yourself if there's something more? More fulfillment? More to my life? More to me? More to, well, everything? Can there be a way for us to sometimes drown out the world? To see and hear stories of how courtesy and good manners are being replaced by rudeness and contempt is disturbing. This is not what God wishes us to endure. It's not this way everywhere, or all the time, but it may seem so. If we really try, we can reverse this quiet tsunami of indifference. Stop and look around at the marvelous world that God has given us. Be amazed at what you see, smell, and hear every day. Realize that the very first breath you drew when you wake is your first daily gift from God. Be thankful before your feet touch the floor. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and earth. If you currently don't have a relationship with Him, but marvel at what you, what is around you, know that there is a Creator and He is God. Just stop and speak the name of Jesus. He is waiting for your invitation to come into your life, and He won't come alone. He'll have God the Father, the Creator, with Him. He will call on you to invite everyone you know to His banquet. Matthew 22.9 says, Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. Is there more? Yes.